High Court sitting in Enugu State has ordered the State Commissioner of Police to pay the sum of 20 million nairas naira to the family of Chika Chuku Onwe, one of the suspects who went missing at the state anti court police custody since 2019. The court also ordered the Commissioner of Police to produce the missing suspect to the family dead or alive. The court order is made against the Commissioner of Police, Kanaya Uzwebu and Deputy Superintendent of Police, Chidom Ekelim for violating the right to life of Chika Chuku Onwe, who went missing in police custody since five years ago. Justice C.O. Aja, in hearing, emphasized that the state police command's actions were unacceptable. The judge ruled that Chika Chuku Onwe was murdered in police custody without trial or due process. It would be recalled that Onwe and Izuchuku Ani were arrested in 2019 in Agwani, Enugu State, following a cult clash. They were detained at the anti-cult police post and denied bail, despite no formal charges. It was reported that throughout their detention, neither Onwe nor Ani was presented in court for trial nor were they allowed to see their families. Chukunanso Obi, lawyer representing Onwe said that Onwe's mother, Confidence in Kechi, and uncle, Anayo Um, made several attempts to ascertain their son's whereabouts but were resisted by the police, according to Sahara reporters. The Guardian quoted Obey as saying, they were continually rebuffed by the police. In a bid to seek justice, they escalated the matter to the state's police brutality and extrajudicial killing unit, but the findings of the panel remained undisclosed. The judge in her ruling said that Onwe's disappearance after his arrest constituted a violation of his right to life, as guaranteed by Section 33.1 of the Constitution. Justice Aja also ordered the police to locate the missing suspect, whether dead or alive, without further delay. The judge further instructed the police to issue a written apology to Onwe's mother and to publish the apology in two national newspapers for infringing on the suspect's right to life, Sahara reporters added. Nigeria police have arrested over 113 nationals from Malaysia and China alongside their alleged Nigerian collaborators for crimes bordering on internet hacking, cyber crimes and other unmentioned crimes that threaten national security, according to the West Africa Country Police Authority. A video posted online showed moments the suspect's large team of security operatives surrounded the house where the foreign nationals were arrested and moved into police vehicles. Oluwiwa Adejabi, the Nigeria Police Force Public Relations Officer, in news release on Sunday, said the suspects were arrested on Saturday in Abuja. The statement reads in quotes thus, the Nigeria Police Force has arrested 130 suspects comprising 113 foreign nationals, 87 males and 26 females, primarily of Chinese and Malaysian origin, and their 17 Nigerian collaborators, 4 males and 13 females, for their alleged involvement in high-level cyber crimes, hacking, and activities that threaten national security. This strategic operation was conducted through a coordinated raid on a building at the next cash and carry area of Jahi, Abuja, where the suspects were reportedly using computers and other sophisticated devices to facilitate criminal activities. The operation which was led by the Assistant Inspector General of Police for Zone 7 Headquarters, Abuja, AIG Bennett Igwe, on Saturday the 2nd of November 2024, comprised officers of the Nigeria Police Force Zone 7 Command Abuja and the National Cyber Crime Center, NPFNCCC. We are investigating the matter and scientifically analyzing the exhibits recovered from them. The suspects will be charged to court upon conclusion of our investigations. We will update the public on the outcomes of our investigations as and when due. Thanks, the Niger Amnesty International has called on Iran authority to release the female student of Azad University of Science and Research in Tehran who was seen in a viral video in the school environment apparently to have removed her clothes leaving only underwear in protest against alleged harassment by the country morality police. 
Amnesty International in a statement said the incident occurred on Saturday when the morality police allegedly confronted the female student for not putting on her headscarf properly with some persons saying that the Iran morality police operatives were the ones who tore her clothes, forcing the female student to strip off almost completely leaving only her underwear. It would be recalled that protests erupted across Iran in 2022 against the hijab compulsory dress code for women following the death of Maza Amini, a 22-year-old woman who died in the custody of the morality police after being arrested for allegedly not wearing her headscarf properly. According to an Iranian student social media channel, the Amin Kabin newsletter, the female student had previously been harassed by members of the Bashij an Iranian volunteer paramilitary group, inside the university's grounds, members of the force had ripped her headscarf and torn her clothes. The student who was identified by some persons as Ahad Darya was accosted by the morality police in Iran for not wearing a hijab. Many of the women rights activists have taken to social media to demand her release and fair treatment by the morality police. Some of the opinions expressed online by the activists reads below those. In Iran, a student harassed by her university's morality police over her, improper, hijab didn't back down. She turned her body into a protest, stripping to her underwear and marching through campus, defying a regime that constantly controls women's bodies. Her act is a powerful reminder of Iranian women's fight for freedom. Yes, we use our bodies like weapons to fight back a regime that kills women for showing their hair. This happened at Tehran's Science and Research University. She has since been arrested by the authorities. Be her voice. A student at Iran's University of Science and Research was accosted by Islamic regime morality police for showing her hair beneath her hijab. They tore her clothes as they attacked her. So in protest she took her clothes off and stood in the square in nothing but her underwear. Minutes after this video was taken, the woman was beaten and forcibly disappeared by the IRGC. Free Iran from radical Islamists. This photo is now part of Iranian history, reflecting women's deep frustration with the regime, a powerful demonstration against oppression. Habib Khan said, this iconic photo is now part of Iranian history, capturing the deep frustration of women with the regime, a powerful statement against repression. She wanted to feel free for a few minutes. Life asserts itself even in totalitarian cultures, like flowers buzzing through a concrete sidewalk. Imtiaz Mahmoud said, standing tall versus the Islamic regime, in lying down her life, she exposed regime afraid of independent women. Joey said, One brave woman stood against the tide she was arrested and lost her life if only the protesters were as brave. Such women are a gift to the world. George Davis said, Now she is a real weapon of war. Bravery, just ask the cowards that put her to death. Why, did you see your mother, your sister in her? I'll bet you did but fear of your peers took hold. You're a coward and cowards die a thousand deaths. Suppressed News stated in a tweet that, just to clarify cause. I see a lot of propaganda circulating about a woman in Iran in a university who was asked to wear her hijab by morality police so she turned her body into a protest, stripping to her underwear and marching through campus. According to the Azad University report, this student is under severe stress and mental disorders and has been transferred to a treatment center. Basically she is mentally ill, however propagandists are going to twist it to attack Iran and claim she is opposing the regime. Amnesty International in a statement on Saturday said, Iran's authorities must immediately and unconditionally release the university student who was violently arrested on the 2nd of November after she removed her clothes in protest against abusive enforcement of compulsory burning by security officials at Tehran's Islamic Azad University. Pending her release, authorities must protect her from torture and other ill treatment and ensure access to family and lawyer. Allegations of beatings and sexual violence against her during arrest need independent and impartial investigations.
Those responsible must help to account. FA Iran in a statement on Saturday reported that a fellow student from the Islamic Azad University of Science and Research in Tehran fell into a coma today at noon after being tortured by security guards. All students and professors from state, private, and medical universities across the country have declared that they will not attend classes on Monday, November 5, 2024, and will instead hold a sit-in on campus to protest the torture of these students and to voice against the violence of the guards and stringent laws. On Saturday, November 2, 2024, security guards confronted this female student upon her entry to the university because she was not wearing a mask. During this confrontation, her clothes were torn. In protest of the guards' violence, she removed her torn clothes and told the guards, you can't do anything wrong to me. The guards forcibly put her in a car, and according to eyewitnesses, her hair bled profusely after hitting a pillar or car door. Unfortunately, she fell into a coma on the way to detention and was transferred to a hospital. The student's family, after being informed, went to the university and inquired about their daughter's whereabouts but have received no response so far. Many Tabasudi, a social activist while condemning her arrest, said, in solidarity with the brave young Iranian female student who stood against forced hijab and oppressive rules in her university. No one should be forced to wear anything against their will, personal choice is a fundamental human right. Her bravery highlights the ongoing struggle for freedom and justice in Iran. May she be free safely and may her courage inspire change. Iran State Run Fars News Agency reported that the student took off her clothes after two security personnel, calmly talked to her and warned her about flouting the hijab dress code. The university's public relations director said the woman was suffering from mental... Bring the news in a more digital way.